three imperial seals together crystallize some of the most defining moments in Chinese imperial history. From the apex of the Ming Dynasty to its brutal downfall, from the consolidation and glory of the Manchu Empire to its decline at the hands of Western imperialist forces in the 19th century. These objects, set on a collision course with history, literally bear its scars. It was long believed that Ming Dynasty imperial jade seals had all been lost or been destroyed. Although smashed and burned on June 3, 1644, at the fall of the Ming Dynasty, this seal commemorating Empress Wen, consort of the Ming Dynasty Emperor Yongle, this seal is the only one of its kind in the world. You have the rise and fall of the Ming right there in the palm of your hand. This is the largest and most potent seal ever carved for the Kangxi Emperor, who in the late 17th and early 18th centuries was the single most powerful person on earth, ruling over a vast kingdom of over 100 million subjects. Bearing the inscription Jing Tian Qinmin, River Heaven and Serve Thy People, this seal is emblematic of the political philosophy of Chinese rulers since the dawn of recorded history. It is a seal of immense historical, cultural, and artistic value. It is the mandate of heaven personified. Kept in a summer palace hall where young Qianlong first met his grandfather, this imperial seal is inscribed with an essay by His Majesty the Qianlong Emperor, memorializing his beloved relationship with his grandfather, but more importantly, legitimizing the most controversial and possibly darkest succession of power in Chinese history. That of his father, fourth son to Emperor Kangxi, who was rumored to have been favored for the throne because of the emperor's strong faith in his grandson, the future Emperor Qianlong. Burnt and cracked when the French and British armies sacked the Summer Palace in 1860, its very survival gives it huge historical significance, testimony to a special memory and a turbulent history. Mm -hmm.